and now in B21 we'll start with the product description part of the invoice and row 21 will include the headings of the description part and you can enter the inputs from row 22 onwards so let me scroll down a little bit okay that looks nice so to start with we type product number in B21 and then we jump to the next cell here we give heading as product description as this column will contain the description of the products now we'll skip the next two columns as the description could be longer we can also merge these cells from column C to column E for each row under the headings later on now we type quantity in F21 then unit price in G21 and amount in H21 as mentioned, we can enter product details from row 22 onwards and we'll keep 10 to 12 rows for the same. But if you want, you can keep more rows or can add later as per the requirement. But before we format this table, let's merge across the columns for product description heading. So we select C21 to E34 and then we go to merge in center and select merge across from drop down option and click on it. Once you do that, you can see that each row of selected cells have been merged across with their corresponding cells. Now we select the table from B21 to H34 and we go to borders, more borders and we apply outline border and then we click on vertical border line to separate each columns and then we click on OK. As soon as we click on OK, we can see that the necessary borders have been applied to the selection successfully. And then we once again go to B21 and this time we highlight B21 to H21 and first we make it as bold and then we apply blue accent one darker 50% background color and then font color as white. Now we'll enter the calculation part. So to do that, let's scroll down a little bit more and we type subtotal here in G35 followed by sales tax rate in G36 then shipping and handling as short form S and H in G37 other in G38 and then discount in G39 followed by grand total in G40 after that we select G35 to H40 and then we apply all borders and after that we remove the selection and then deselect G40 to H40 and make them as bold. Now it's time to insert a box for other comments for this invoice template. So let's go to B36 and type here other comments and then we select B36 to E40 and apply outline borders. You can also apply the outline border to the selection by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus 7 keyboard shortcut. Okay, now we come back to B36 and then we highlight B36 to E36 and we apply the formatting blue background, white font color and make it as bold. Once you're done, you can enter special comments or instruction you want to include in this invoice template. As it could be total payment due in 10 days please include the invoice number on your check you can type any specific comments in this box as per the need now to include the closing portion let's scroll down a little bit more we jump to b45 and here we type equal to in double quotes make all your checks payable to insert the quotation mark and then percent sign and refer to b2 cell if you take a look at the b2 it contains your company name so you're telling your customers to make all the payments check in favor of your company name in case you want to change you can manually type it here instead of linking to company name cell reference all right then in the next row say if you have any further concern regarding this invoice contact us at contact at your domain.com 
Here you can provide your contact information on which you would like your customers to reach out in case they see any discrepancy or have any doubts regarding this invoice. At last but not the least, add a thank you note. So you type in B47, thank you for your business and now press enter. Now to make it look good, we select this range from B45 to H47 and we go to margin center and select merge across and now we format it as center line. Now it is looking much better. We are almost done as we need to just give a final touch up to this template. So we go back to H5 and here we enter today function and then we apply the required date format as MMM DD and YY YY and then select this range and make it as center align. We have entered today function in H5 just to get the current date. In case if you want to remove or you want some other date, you can remove this function and can enter the date whenever required. All right. After that, we come back to product description area and here the product number and the quantity and the unit price column contain numbers. So we format them as center aligned and now we select H21 to H34 and we apply accounting format here. After applying accounting format, we click on H22 and we enter if formula and ask it to check whether F22 is blank or not. If blank, print empty text. Otherwise, multiply quantity with unit price and return in the cell. This formula will help to check whether column F for the corresponding row contains any value or not. If not, then the function will return empty text. Otherwise, we'll multiply the value with unit price column. Now let's apply this formula to the rest of the cells in this range. All right. After that, we go to H35 and here we enter some formula to get the sum of amount column. So we select H22 to H34 and we hit enter and then apply the required formatting to the cells like subtotal, service and handling, others, discount and grand total to accounting format and sales tax rate as percentage format. And now we come back to H40 and here we have to get the final calculation. So we enter some function and we take subtotal in first argument and then in the second argument we calculate the sales tax and after that we select service handling and others and then we close the function and later we subtract the discount from the sum value and now we hit enter as this will give us the grand total after it the discount amount last we select g39 to h39 and we apply thick bottom border and we are done. Yes, you heard me right. We have successfully created our first invoice template, which is automated too. You just need to fill out the required information like bill to and ship to details, product info and shipping information, and the calculation will be done automatically. You can customize this template as per your own choice after downloading it from the link given in the description. This sales invoice template is best for someone who is dealing with products, goods, professional services, etc. Since it is very useful for small business owners, freelancers and individuals alike as it can save a lot of their productive time. That's all I have in this lesson for now. I hope you liked and enjoyed it. Click on the subscribe button and get regular updates. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends, colleagues and dear ones. Thank you and have a nice day.